Little Rosa, what's her name? And still I cry in vain. My world won't be the same since she's gone from me. I had gone to visit the grave of a friend of mine. And as I walked through the graveyard, I noticed this man kneeling down by the grave of a child. And in his hand, he held a big red rose. And tears were streaming down his cheeks. I walked over and laid a hand on his shoulder and started to talk to him. And during the course of our conversation, and in his broken English. This is the story, just as he told it to me. He said, Mr. I'm a walking down the street today and I pass by a bigger flower shop. I walk in and I ask the man in the shop, I say, boss, how much are for one red rose? And he look at me with one a bigger frown and he says, I want a dollar, please. But in a by and a by, a swell addressed a blonde young lady walk in and she says, how much are for one red rose? And he look at her with one of biggest smile and he says, a ten of cents. And I said, oh, boss, how come are you charging me a dollar for the rose? And you charge the young lady only ten of cents. And he says, look, oh, mister, you telling me why you want the rose and maybe I'll give it to you for not. And I said, the boss, I'm a hard worker man. Working the railroad and only make a three dollar a day. And I got a little girl and her name is Rosa. Oh, uh, Rosa's is just about this a high boss. Every day when I come home from a work, a little Rosa come running to meet her papa. She'd throw her little arms around my neck and say, Papa. And I'd say, Rosa. But the one day a boss, I come home from a work and I don't see Rosa. I look her down by the railroad track and I see one a bigger crowd. Oh, I go down and I push the crowd this way and I push the crowd that way and they're both sit my feet. Lay my little rosa. And that's why I want the rosa, boss. I want to put him on little rosa's grave. The man he don't say or not. But he picked the biggest and the reddest rose and he give it to me. And I say, thank you, boss. Thank you very much. And though she's gone, you see, she's still the world to me. To me, she'll always be that little girl of mine.